You'll see today. Are you ahead? Okay, you see here a movie. Um, you'll recognize Leo Messi. But I'm not here to talk about Messi, but I'm here to talk about Sufian. Sufian is 10 years old and has had many operation in eight years. Since two years, he has prosthesis. He goes to a normal school and practices sport with his school friends. Sufian is crazy about football, about Football Club Barcelona, especially Messi. He has uh, gone through all the pain, worries, fear with a smile in his face being positive and thinking about football. This is a clear example of what the sport can do for us. And Sufian represents all the values as uh, trust, courage, tolerance to towards frustrations, efforts, and so on, that we, the European former football players, want to transfer to our society, to our children. Why? Because they deserve a better world. What is the EFPA mission? EFPA is to seek and foster public, social, and institutional recognition of the former players as a piece of living history of European football, as well as for his contribution to the development of European football clubs. Furthermore, EFPA is based upon the values of sportsmanship, fair play, solidarity, and social integration. Please. What is there? Presentation, right? Yeah, please. Okay. okay. For the next one? Like this one, no? Yeah. Okay. And today I want to talk about how can a sport enhance social values. EFPA mm -hmm. has uh, <clears throat> two main targets. One is to guarantee a decent life to former players in need on social, educational, medical, and economic level. And number two is to promote and pass to our society the pedagogical and social values of sport in general and football in particular. Why do I tell all of this? Because we care. In an everyday, more individual world, we care for our past and for our future. We want to guarantee a decent life to former players, and we want, <coughs> and we want them to teach the value of a sport to the future generations. <coughs> We have received a lot from society, and now it's time to return it. How? Let me tell you our experience. During the last three years, the Football Club Barcelona Former Player Association have implemented the project Stick to Sport. Stick to Sport is a program implemented to encourage sport as a means of drug prevention. This program has been very successful because the ones telling how good is practicing a sport are former players, and they have a great communication power among children. These players have been coached and supported by professional people in the health sector, making their message even more powerful. And because the message of practicing a sport has been told not only children, but also the teachers and parents. This success at Barca Former Player Association gives us the power to expand this project at the European level. We plan to do this <coughs> sorry, in the six countries that are members of EFPA. Great Britain, Spain, Italy, Germany, Poland, and Czech Republic. You already know that we are, li we are living in a very demanding society. On the individual level, we need constant effort to overcome the adversities we are faced with. On the community level, we need to adapt ourselves to different groups that we belong to. Family, school, company we work for, village, colleague from work, friends. But uh, to face all these adversities and challenges we have every day, we need values. Have you ever analyzed what it entails playing football? It's not solidarity, excellence, responsibility, compromise, tolerance to frustration. Are these not values and qualities that we need in our everyday life? You don't think these values could help youth to be a better person, to be happy and become useful for our society? Here we want to show you 
the different activities and programs we have been doing during the last three years. But before starting them, we had to teach, we have to train our trainers, and not just train, but to praise good work, to bring the best in everyone out, to have a common objective, and to respect the opponent. We have different programs and sessions that we want to further expand in Europe, with the help of our six federations. We can talk about education for former players. That means helping former players to second phase in life, providing them the means for education needed to find themselves jobs. We are talking about the second career. Coaching the coach, teaching trainers how to train positively. That represents putting the emphasis in the values of the game and not in just winning. Learning, having fun, while at least until the, the, the age of 13 and introducing the competition element just after this age. As a competition, I want to be a football player. About 2,000 children of different schools writing an essay on why he wants to be a football player, focusing on the, on the positive aspects of football. Keep playing. About 1,500 children from different nationalities but living in Catalonia participate in different sport activities. That was a very clear target, social integration. In this case, you have the participation of the coach of Real Club Deportivo Español, Pochettino, and the coach of uh, Fútbol Club Barcelona, Pep Guardiola. Why can we do all this? Because former sport men, sport women, are still icons. Because society attach value to their experience. Because sometimes they need help and coaching. And because sometimes they can guide and coach people. What are EFPA goals? EFPA aims to apply this good experience in Europe. How? First, consolidating current national federations, remember we have six, and creating the new ones, and creating a solid structure to support our former players, and that facilitates the transferring the sport values to new generations. And finally, our conclusions you agree with me that the sport is a tool to transfer values, a vehicle for social integration. That's why we invite you to join our project. We want to support our former players, and that means too, to educate our youth. Thank you very much.